just a short update on my infrared heating experiment and we're going to be looking at how much how many kilowatt hours we've used so far and how much them kilowatt hours have cost and the information given will be up until the 30th of, 30th of october 2022 uh, the first thing i thought we'd look at and probably the most significant thing to look at is actually the outside temperatures the outside temperatures have an effect on all costs that we have and also how much power we're using to heat each room and that is indicated here in the two blue lines so we have the maximum temperature for the each day outside and also the minimum temperature each day outside and the two red lines are the minimum and maximum temperatures inside the house in the lounge so our current target temperatures in the bedrooms um, we've got the infrared heaters coming on at 18 and a half degrees and going off at 19 and a half degrees and downstairs the the infrared heaters come on at 19 degrees and then go off again at 20 degrees so the first thing to look at um, we've got a line here for each room in the house which has the infrared heater in and there's one room which really stands out further than any other room in the in the house and that's charlotte's bedroom which is bedroom one in the following slide and that that bedroom sits above the garage so we, we certainly have a, a lot of heat being which is escaping from uh, bedroom one and it's actually nearly double what we are using in all of the house elsewhere so that's going to be the first significant upgrades that we can make to the house and that's up in the insulation in charlotte's room or bedroom one or maybe even in the garage below this slide here shows how many kilowatt hours we're using per day and that's the blue line and also the red line which is the um, the average cost per kilowatt um, for that particular day and that gives us a total running cost of five pounds 54 so far and again this gives a, a good indication how much more money we're spending heating um, bedroom one our cost per kilowatt hour is is very low and that's because we're able to shift or, or should i say charge our home storage battery at night at seven and a half pence per kilowatt hour through octopus energy and also we're still getting pretty good generation from our solar pv panels this time of year um, it's also worth mentioning we do have an electric boiler as a backup heating source if anything ever goes wrong with the infrared heating system we also have two rooms which still haven't had any heating whatsoever and that the both rooms are on the south side of the house and that's hayden's room which is the small bo box bedroom and also the kitchen so we do all our cooking in the kitchen and that's also on the south side of the house so again no heating whatsoever going on in them two rooms at the moment thanks for following my infrared heating experiment and if you've got any questions or comments please add it to the section below and please like and subscribe